Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome price point motorhome that is perfect for state and national parks. This is a 2021 Holiday Rambler Admiral Model 29M. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Holiday Rambler and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this perfect motorhome for state and national parks. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Jen. Hey guys. Will's wife. Hi, hi guys. Will. What are you guys doing? Uh, well, I'm filling in today. I'm working at the dealership, but then we're driving down to Fort Lauderdale tonight and flying out to Aruba tomorrow. Yes, and thank you guys so much for helping us with the move. Of course. And also, if you guys see that camera right there, Will and Jen started their own YouTube channel just documenting their lives and their travels. We are, there's already videos that were in it and we will link their channel at the end of this one also down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to Jen's channel featuring Will. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much for filling in for Andrea. Let's begin. Oh, and by the way, Andrea will be back tomorrow's episode and we appreciate Will and Jen for filling in as we were helping us with the move. Let's begin. Model is Holiday Rambler Admiral 29M. But the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet even. This is the Holiday Rambler. It's the sister product to the Fleetwood Flare to Admiral. Um, and this is just their entry level product and I love it. Right here you have these nice LED lights right there. They light up and everything. This is powered on the all new Ford V8 engine. 7.3 liter Godzilla! 350 horsepower and 468 <laughs> foot pounds torque. Very nice. Coming down the side here we have these black mirrors. Side cameras left and right side frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome and right here is a front doggy door and then look at these tires jen they're the good years 245-70 not r uh, 245-70 r 19.5 very nice coming on down the side we have a huge power awning with led lights let's take a look at that when it's all the way out Huge power awning with those LED lights. Coming on down the side here, we have speakers on the outside. Nice pass-through storage. Fiberglass doors, but I like how they shut like that. I hate these twisty doors. Oh, and it is mostly twisty doors. It's okay. <laughs> right here, Jen, is your propane tank. And we all have all the specs about this motorhome. Bing! right there so everybody can see it who's watching on television and then right here this is something that i really do love this is a huge exterior television sansui one of the biggest exterior televisions that i've seen on an rv right here is going to be your potable water fill potable potable oh you know it jen <laughs> jen's like i watch i watch every now and then unfortunately i have to watch <laughs> and then right here look at this this has a very nice outside kitchen. You got your hot point little fridge right there. A sink that's actually pumped through. I like the white cabinetry, Jen. I think you're gonna like it on the inside. We got a sink there. Okay, little access panel. And right here, we actually have a microwave on the outside. Nice. In case you want to like a DiGiorno microwave pizza. <laughs> and if you need the grill, bam, right there you have a propane quick connect. Coming around the back. We do have an 8,000 pound hitch. Now this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You're good at 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you're gonna wanna check to make sure how much you load up in this motorhome. Nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Backup camera right there. And we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. Be careful. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> 
up here on the roof you can see this is a nice one piece tpo roof not one but two air conditioning units i love that right here you have your max air fans right over there king air wine guard digital antenna and then right there you have your wi-fi ranger that is a big step there great if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button one of the rv salesmen's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof show you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody right here's your city water connection sanitation flush ah oh. Who did this video with me at Leo's? Not me. I think that was me, actually. Remember the generator? Yep. They still haven't fixed it. They still have this silly generator door right there. It's a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. And then right there, we do have a um, your gasoline fill-up from 2019. We'd said right. that, and they still haven't fixed it. Mm. Coming on down the side here, outdoor shower water heater. I love how they continue the decals there. Right over here, it's gonna be your wet bay sanitation station. I really don't like how it's locked. Can we get the key? Yeah. yeah. Well, extra when he's with you. Well? Yeah. What do you mean he's so extra? He just works really hard when you're around. Aww. He would not have done that if this was terrible. He wants to impress me. And then right here, this is where you dump your black and gray tank. And I must say, I think that's incredibly stupid how you have to lock that. Like, oh, somebody's going to steal my black and gray tank, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Will. Mm -hmm. And then right over here is your 50 amp power cord with a surge guard. Very nice. Well, Jen, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Just walk all the way through to the back while the slide outs are in. Now for the 111,000 subscribers who might be wondering, hey, who the heck is Jen? Jen and Will, but Jen helped me start the show back in the day. This was pre-Will and pre-Andrea. I'm the OG recorder. <laughs> She's the OG recorder. We actually had you in a video the other day on the cross track because they yeah. took our recommendation of the lift up and down bed. Yeah. That was a Matt and Jen idea. Mm -hmm. Great. Now you can see what the slide outs look like when they are out. Jen, let's get started up front here. Up front here, we have these nice big oversized seats, okay? This has the new 7.3 liter V8 engine, and you can tell with the modern steering wheel. You got your cup holder right here. Right here, you push for your power shades, okay? Right here, you can see your cameras, left side, right side, and reverse, and you have your auto leveling right there. Jim, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? I would love to. Oh, this is nice. Right there, you have a little workstation where you can work on editing some videos for their new vlog. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, these seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. And then Jen, if you push that in, but then pull out that, mm -hmm. there's even a drawer right there. Oh, very cool. Yes. And then right there, if you get that, there's some storage above there. Yeah. And then storage above here. Very nice. And then above the cockpit area, the bunk over the cab does drop down right here now what's really nice about this is it's not thick so if somebody's taller they have more headroom in the cockpit area but one of the flaws a lot of people um say this mattress is very thin but it actually is okay comfortable and honestly even if it's not comfortable it is for your non-paying customers <laughs> you have a custom you have a comfortable mattress back there you got speakers right there. And then Jen, show that cabinetry above the uh, sofa. 
Very nice. I like the white cabinetry. Okay. How do you like the white cabinetry, Jen? I like it. I think that manufacturers are starting to learn. Yes, to Lighten yes. things up a little bit. Yes. What about the balances? Are you a fan or not a fan? Um, I don't mind them. I, okay. I prefer, like, not a pattern, but it's, like, subtle enough that it's not too bad. Okay, very good, very good. And then right here we have our MCD daytime shades as well. Right here we have a very comfortable sofa. This jackknife's down to make a bed. It does not try fold out. And then we're kind of looking that way at the TV. And it is okay because you pull this down and then you're able to swivel out the TV to be at a good viewing angle. So I have no problem with that. Over here at the dinette, I love this big window. Don't you love that? Yeah. And then this is a fan favorite. Everybody loves this L-shaped style. You know what I'm saying? It's unique and different. It's easy to get to. Will, have a seat with us. Okay. You know, I'm eating here. Will's eating there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you might need a little, Will's a bigger guy, so you might need a little bit of a taller pole. But other than that, you know, we fit safe. He has seat belts, I have seat belts. It's very nice. And it, I think it can drop down to a I bed. So, yeah. I personally would not do that. You know what I'm it saying? It seems weird. There's, there's no support. support yeah. yeah, exactly. So. It's like when you're laying down, you'll be okay. But when you sit on that side to right. get off the bed, it will like flip up. Well, Jen, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $134,000. $283 MSRP. Sale price, Jen, can you see it right there? Yep. We have it 26% off to $99,999. But Jen, we can get everybody in America an even better price than that. Jen, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or Matt's RV reviews at gmail.com. Send me an email, or the best thing to do is go to Matt's RV reviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we'll get back to you within 24 or 48 hours. Or if it's just, just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Jen, it doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They all get you the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Jen, let's continue the video. Okay, so bear with me, guys, as I can get to where this kitchen is. So look, start up and then okay. go down and then over. Gotcha. Okay, so we have this nice, like, frosted glass here. Yes, ma'am. Upper cabinets. Um, it looks like... What kind of countertops is this? Not solid surface. Not solid surface. Yeah. But I like the look of it, like kind of the marble It's look. definitely not the cheaper style, so it looks good. Yeah. Um, then we have this round sink. Um, okay. It's actually a decent size for the, the space that you have in this kitchen. So I'm not a huge fan of round sinks, but it is good for crock pots. Yeah, it is. Um, and this has, you have a pull-out faucet there, which is nice. Uh-huh. Um, and then coming down here, um, we have some drawers. Drawers, one. Two and three. Very nice. Um, How do you like that backsplash? Um, I'm not the biggest fan. Really? I like yeah, it. I What's... mean, it has, a, it has a higher end look. Like, it actually looks like individual tiles. I don't know. It, it doesn't look like, like a one piece thing. So it's like decent quality. I'm just not as big of a fan of the blue style. But um, we have a nice, um, is this convection? Doesn't look Regular right. microwave. Regular microwave, but it's a really nice size. Yes. Um, and we have this um, stove, cooktop. Three burner Three cooktop burner. with a glass cover. Yeah, nice. And the oven down here. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then, okay. So that's kind of sucks. Yeah. You don't have a lot of storage under there. No, not at all. I thought it would have been a little bit better than that. Yeah, it looks like that's where your water heater bypass control is. You yes. do have an outlet there, but I don't know what, what you would you really plug it? in. Yeah. Okay, and then right there. And then under here we have some more storage. Very nice. And then moving over to the fridge. Looks like we have a, uh, I don't know what size this is. This is a compressor fridge. Compressor fridge, okay. 
so not residential, but it's still a good size for an RV fridge. Yes, very good. And Will, I, I mean, and Jen, I love this mirror. Is this mirror... Art Deco? Yeah, <laughs> no, you got not. it, you got it. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Will, you're here. Yep. Get on in there. Uh-oh. Will's corn fed. Get on in there. <laughs> this is not gonna be a good one. Look at that step up. For those of you who are wondering, Will is six foot three, but <laughs> that's better than what I would have thought with that big step up. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can't pass it. This is what like really ruins it right here. Yep. I mean, you could barely close, try to close the door. Yeah. Oh, hang on, right there. Now, for those of you guys who are watching, Will is six foot three, you know, so he is a bigger fella. Yeah. Good job, Will. Yeah, it's not as bad as I expected. It's the cut-ins that really- like Here's your medicine here. cabinet for all your medicines. You have a nice sink right there underneath okay we got a little bit more cabinetry right here very nice and more cabinetry here and here and then you do have those fans right there and then this porcelain it's tough it's a little with the door closed though close the door real quick no i mean I mean, I am going to give it a prime poop position, Bing! but like literally an inch closer or an inch closer where if I'm an inch wider, it doesn't pass. I'm, I'm not like, it's not like a great prime poop position. Mm -hmm. really it's definitely borderline. Or a cool. passing pooping position. It's a passing pooping position. Yes, ma'am. And then finishing up in the master bedroom. Uh, look over here. We have a bed that's very high elevated for a short person like me. I would definitely have, I definitely have to crawl up here, okay? We do have very big and nice cabinetry there. Yes, thank you, yeah, ma'am. that's nice. And I like how it's held up by struts, okay? Very nice headboard design. Window right here. We do have storage over here. Thank you, thank you, ma'am king size bed with a wolf mattress drawer drawer right there drawer right there and a sansui tv and then right there wow that's actually really really good mm -hmm. storage under the bed yeah well jen that's it that's the review thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching now before you leave it's now time we give you Three things we love about the Holiday Rambler Admiral and three things we just don't like about it. Jen, what do we do first? Three things you like. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go first. In such a small motorhome in here, I love how they did the color scheme as the light, as the white, as the bright. You know, it's kind of funny to say that a big class A motorhome like this is small, but it is small, you know, relative to its competition. So that's, that's number one. Jen, number two? Um, I really like coming up here. Um, since I like to work from the road a lot, I really like um, the desk that they've done here because this, this comes out nice and it's like really sturdy. Yes. And then the fact that you could like, I mean, you could probably stow your laptop in here if you took this out. So right. that's really cool having that organization there as well. And I'm going to combo that with like, this is one of the biggest, yeah. comfiest, like lazy boy chairs in the RV industry. Yeah, very nice. I love that. So that's number two. And then number three must be outside. I love how big this power awning is. I love how big the TV is, and I love how you have an outside kitchen on a motorhome. I think that's great, awesome, and wonderful, all while staying at 29 feet, being state and national park friendly. Yeah. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we hate about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Ready for me to go first? Yep. Okay, one, I think that generator door is stupid, but I'm gonna combo that. Do you have to take that? Um, can we cut it real quick? Yeah. Okay, because I got my meeting starting in six, eight minutes. So okay. Um, well, we could do it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be super fast. Okay. Uh, I hate these twisty doors. They are, they are very stupid. I don't like the twisty doors. We gotta hurry. Jeff has a meeting. <laughs> Jeff, do you have another dislike? 
Um, I do. Talk to in us. In the kitchen area. <laughs> Hurry, Jen. Okay. What I don't like is I don't think that they did a really good job of optimizing storage, particularly here. Yes. Like having to put like your cleaning stuff. Like, yes. Just anything. Yes. And I don't know why that's useful because like what can you even plug in there? I know. I know. We got so. seven <laughs> minutes left. So that's two. And then number three, a personal dislike for me is this elevated bed area. With somebody like Will, it's not a problem at all. But for me, like it's literally up to my waist. I literally have to climb up every time. Let's go outside. Watch out, Will, we have a meeting. <laughs> well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. That's the Holiday Rambler Admiral 29M. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please, Call, text, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a 30-foot motorhome like this, in a few seconds, we're going to have <laughs> deep motorhomes right here that we think you should watch. Jen, anything you want to say to America? I've never heard you talk that fast and you talk really fast. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I enjoyed filling in Andrea's shoes. You guys do a great job and um, excited to head to Aruba later. And if you, like Matt said, if you guys want to follow our adventures and see more of Matt behind the scenes, definitely um, put that button our... right there. Push, t push that button right there. Down. Yep. Right there. <laughs> right There's there. the button. Yep. <laughs> push that button. Subscribe to their channel. Thank you, Will and Jen, for helping us with the move. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Jen. We'll see you next time.